Hello everyone, I am Dr. Praveen Renumala, Associative Executive Dean of St. James School of Medicine. First of all, please allow me to congratulate you in passing the 12th class CPSC exams. I also know that uh, um, most of you have taken the NEET exam as well and that your results will be up pretty soon. Uh, I wish everybody the very best. Now I am going to talk about my school, St. James School of Medicine. St. James School of Medicine is celebrating our 25 years of existence right now. We have been in the Canadian for a long long time. 25 years is a very long time. And we have been accredited by what is called ACCM. Uh, we are one of the few schools which have been accredited by ACCM which is based in Ireland. The SJSM, uh, the program in SJSM is for five years and uh, attains what is called an MD degree at the end of five years. And this MD degree is equivalent to the MBBS degree uh, that students from India get. Uh, St. James School of Medicine has some advantages when compared with a US medical school or when compared with other Caribbean schools. The fees in St. James is approximately 120,000 US dollars for five years, which is way less than what somebody in India has to pay in a private medical school in India. And when you compare with other Caribbean schools, even schools which have not been accredited by accredited bodies uh, uh, take more money than St. James School of Medicine. And when you compare when you compare with the United States, then you're talking about like paying maybe 25% less in St. James School of Medicine than what you probably have to pay in the United States. As far as St. James is concerned, our admissions department and uh, uh, is very hardworking. Our admissions department has a, what is called a concierge service, which is very helpful to a new student. When a student starts in St. James School of Medicine, the first three years are in the Caribbean island of St. Vincent and Grenadians. Uh, in those three years, the student goes through what are called the basic sciences, in which, for example, you have courses like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, uh, uh, pathology, and physical diagnosis. And in, during this time, we do have a very esteemed faculty for either MD or PhD or some of them are both and we do have a curriculum which is going to help the student to take what is called the USMLE Step 1 exam. This USMLE Step 1 exam is taken at the end of three years and a student is very well prepared to take the Step 1 right, uh, because we do have a preparatory course <coughs> which is called BSRC, which is Basic Science Review, Review Course which would uh, help the student to be best equipped with the uh, to pass the step one and after passing step one then the student will go to the United States to finish the second part of the program which is the clinical part and when you talk about the clinical sciences we have what are called the core uh, clerkships and you have the elective clerkships the core clinical rotations are internal medicine surgery pediatrics obstetrics gynecology and uh, psychiatry and after finishing these core rotations the student will be eligible to take the USMLE step 2 exam and by the time the student finishes five years uh, the uh, he or she will receive the MD degree and once the student finishes uh, gets uh, the MD degree then the student goes through what is called the residency match which is equivalent to the post graduation in India. The, uh, the residency is usually three years, but uh, there are a few residencies which can be for four or five years. Uh, and after residency, the, the medical st the student would start working in the United States as a fully licensed physician. The approximate, uh, the average salary of a practicing physician uh, in the United States is way more than an Indian physician. To start with, the average salary uh, is approximately 200,000 US dollars per year, 
which amounts to about 16 to 17 lakh per month and so that is what most of our students achieve at the end of their residency programs we are proud in st james to let everybody know that we had uh, about 114 of our students matching into the residency program this year in 2024 we also have more than 800 of our students working as practicing physicians in the US and Canada. Once a student finishes the uh, residency program, most of them do work in the United States. However, if they want to come back to India, they can and work in the private sector as practicing physicians. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak to you. If you have any queries regarding St. James School of Medicine, please contact us and we will be very glad to answer your queries. Thank you.